What's up ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It's your boy Rick Fit here. I'm going to be starting this vlog back up. I think this is much more useful for me and much more useful for you guys when I vlog and when I speak instead of my boring ass writing. So um, basically what I'm going to be doing here is covering day in the life series of how I live my life. I'll probably be posting that once every week or one every two weeks. Uh, I want to show you guys how I live my life and if you guys are interested you can watch and if not you don't have to watch it's that simple but um, I'm gonna be coming at you guys probably once or twice a week with a topic that has been constantly um, wanting to be covered by my clients and people who message me on social media and by email that they want me to cover topics uh, with nutrition fitness football related topics and um, I figure I'd drop you know, a couple videos a week uh, just to bring you guys value and help you guys out. So uh, the topic today that I'm going to cover is do I count my calories? Uh, personally I do not count my calories. Um, I don't think that's I need that um, because I already know how to measure my food with my hand and how to have a meal and how to build a meal. So, you know, basically it's gonna be, do I count my calories? But I'm gonna let you guys know how I build my meals and how I recommend you guys build your meals. So I think the best way to build a meal is a balance of protein, carbohydrates, and fats. You're getting your essential macronutrients in and you're getting your phytochemicals in through vegetables and fruits and you're getting your zoo chemicals in from your protein, from your meats. Um, so basically, you know, what I would do is I take a plate, you know, and I split it in half, and I have half of it be vegetables, a quarter of the plate is protein, and a quarter of the plate is carbs. Um, then I'll have, you know, uh, maybe half an avocado, a couple almonds, to get my fats in, or I cook in a healthy oil, olive oil or coconut oil. I know coconut oil is pretty debated nowadays, but I'll go into that in a separate video. But, you know, basically if you eat it and if you take it in in moderation, then it's fine. If you go overboard, of course it's not good for you. So basically how I build my meal is I always incorporate a ton of vegetables and that's my base for the meal. About two to three cups of vegetables and then I'll have a healthy carb uh, quinoa, brown rice, white rice, uh, sweet potato, baked potato, um, couscous, bulgur, any of those good carbs with a lot of fiber. Um, and, you know, I, I try to get in it maybe, you know, 30 to 60 carbs a meal, uh, depending on my activity level for the day. Um, my protein tends to be a lean meat, whether it's beef, chicken, or fish. I love to eat fish. And my, you know, my vegetables, like I said, you know, tend to be broccoli, zucchini, cauliflower. I, I like to just make a stir fry, basically. Um, so basically what I do is I'll take a skillet, you know, heat it up on medium with coconut oil. And, you know, I'll chop up my vegetables beforehand. I'll throw in some broccoli, some peppers, some garlic, and some onions. And then I'll add my lean meat, whether it's beef, chicken, or fish, like I said. And then I'll toss that up, you know, cook it up for a couple minutes. Once that's done, I'll put that over some couscous, some bulgur, some quinoa, or some rice. And that's basically my meal. I'll, you know, sometimes have a salad beforehand, or I'll have a salad afterwards. But I try to incorporate a lot of vegetables into my meals, lean proteins, and good carbs. Nutrition is pretty simple, and I think too many people overcomplicate it, whether they're cutting out carbs, cutting out fats, and I, I don't think that's necessary. I think that the main thing is, is that you guys should have a balance of every macronutrient, because we do need every macronutrient. Um, I don't think there is any best diet out there. I just think the best thing to do when it comes to nutrition and taking food in is to have a balance. Uh, so I don't want to repeat myself, but anymore, if you guys have any questions, please contact me and I'm 
you know, happy to answer. Have a wonderful day.